my channel. This is Divine Angelic God in 717. And I'm here today to do the DM and karmic reading for the week. Um, I thank you first. I want to sit here and thank my guys, thank all of you guys for your like, share, and subscribes. Um, and for also um, being a part of my tribe. If you are new and watching me, I thank you so much for joining me as well. Please click the like, click, please click like, comment below, and um, click on the subscription button and um, click on the notification button so you can get up, up know when I'm uploading. <laughs> thank you. I'm, I'm, excuse me, I'm kind of jumbled. Somebody's energy is jumbled right now. Um, but I thank you guys. I'm so grateful for everything. Um, I'm overwhelmed with happiness. I'm really enjoying uh, being honest and real and raw and giving the messages to you guys as I receive them so I can assist you with guidance on your journey. Um, the divine masculine and divine and the karmic right now are in heavy energies when it comes to a major transit that's going on right now. Uh, we're about to enter a conjunction on the 21st, which is going to... Uh, Knock anything else out of the way that's not meant for your highest good, no matter whether you want to or not. Um, if you are wearing a mask, that will fall off. If you have been living a facade, that will be diminished. Um, a major tsunami and, and tower is coming in. Um, if you are the DM or the karmic um, or the divine feminine, if you are not walking in your truth, you will be put on your correct path, whether you want to or not. So this is a major conjunction that's happening on the 21st. I suggest you guys look into that as well. It will be December 21st. That's a major shift. This year is the reason why 2020 has been so humongous with all this craziness, uh, with pandemics and everything, is because the higher power has been over the situation. Um, if you have been doing the right things, you don't have anything to worry about. If you have been walking in your truth, you have nothing to worry about. But if you have not been doing any of that, you need to um, surrender because it's going to happen regardless and get ready to live a new life. Okay? That's the message that I got. Not to receive that to you. I mean, give it to you guys. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to get over our energy for the DM and karmic read. It's been a lot going on with the DM and with the karmic. Um, I did the DM reading. It was heavy as well. He's in, he's in distortion. He's been distortion. He's coming out of that right now, though. Um, but he's he's more in fear of losing everything. He's still stuck in his ego, which is causing a major issue right now with his transformation. And he's causing a lot of karma for himself, holding on to his ego and pride. Uh, the pride before the fall is about to happen right now with the masculine. As far as the karmic, the karmic is going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. What did I say, guys? What did I say? <laughs> The karmic is going through the same thing right now because of all of the dark magic, all the spells, all of the distortion that they have caused in the in the, car, in the masculine's life with separation of his twin from his twin um, and the delusions that they built, the illusions that they have caused in this masculine's life is all coming into a boomerang effect. Like I said, with the conjunction, it's about to go down. It, anything that you have done to someone is about to be reaped. You're about to reap what you sow, and there's no other way around it. So right now, our overall energy, since I was talking to you guys for the DM and the karmic, is hostilities. There is a lot of anger and frustration going on. If they are in the same household, there is definitely domestic violence going on. There's a lot of fighting, a lot of bickering, instability, anger, um, a lot of blaming right now. But it's also the anger from the masculine because he is awakened to the deception of him being put on this path without fully wanting to. I say fully because he chose the path that he chose still, regardless. The black magic of things, yes, it alters you, but you have an intuition. And we have the option to use that. And I'm pretty sure that people around him told him as well about this person beforehand. But he was so in such in his pride and his ego that he did not want to believe what he was being told. He was being hard headed. And now it's caused hostilities in his life and in the karmic's life. Their, their life is very unstable right now. That's the overall energy, guys. Hostilities, drama. Look, it's falling over. Look at that. It's not being supported by the universe. 
All this has been forced by the universe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. In the reverse. I'm going to take this one too. We have angel of love in reverse. There is no love in the situation between this DM and this Carmen. There is nothing but hate, dislike, resentment, anger right now. The situation is false. It has been a false glass house, false foundation. It was built on quicksand. There was no love here. It was all about finances. And now that's about to be revealed in its conjunction. It's about to be a major shift, guys. Mm -hmm. Yep. What did I say? Yep. Yep, that's crazy. Yeah, but that's some heavy energy. So we're going to take that as the uh, those two as the overall energies because I'm being told to do so. There's no love, and that because of that, there's a lot of hostilities and anger. Because the, man, the masculine is awakening. He's awakening to the fact, look at this, oh, my God. He's awakening to the fact that this situation was false love, like I said before. And because it was false love, there is no current connection here in reverse. That's our first card down. That's why I was told to take the no love in reverse. The situation is done. Your masculine knows. The masculine is aware. Divine masculine knows that this is, was bullshit. He knows that he was forced into a connection that was not for his highest good. And he is reaping karma because of it, of the decision that he made. But this person forced love on this person, false love. All of the dark magic that was done all the love spells, all of the, all of the entrapment spells, the false connections that was created, the glamour spell, the illusions that were created, made your masculine feel like this person was the love of their life. And in reality, it was their enemy the whole time. That's why we have hostilities as the overall energy. Ooh, y'all, that's going to be good. I think you better leave me alone. Get your bags. Get the fuck on. Oh, my God. Look, and look who flipped out. Yes, what did I just say? The, the masculine knows that this karmic forced love onto him. Love spells, love potions, controlling tactics of dark magic to make this situation a love. If your masculine is married to this person, it was a marriage spell. Everything was a spell. This masculine is waking up to your masculine is way he is awakened to the fact that this person is not their true love. Angel of love in reverse. And he is super pissed, ready to cut their head off. He is done. He is about to shop the situation out. That's about to be a, a horrible, horrible ending here. But it's overdue. Yeah. Your masculine is the, this conjunction is causing the, all of the black magic and spells to backfire. He is now aware that he is in a, in a uh, situation where he's not supposed to be. Yep. Your masculine is untied. I know the vision, yes. He knows it's not the look. Man holding heart. Yes. Man holding heart. He's in love with you, Divine Feminine. If you're watching, your masculine is in love with Divine Feminine. He is now aware of who he truly loves, who his true connection is with. His caring connection is with his Divine Feminine. He has been forced to love someone and give his heart to someone that was not his person. And he's very hostile about it right now. He's very pissed. Mm -hmm. He was forced to make a decision. He was forced to choose a path that was not his path. Your masculine, is he knows, like I've been telling you, he's been waking up. But now he's awake. In this reading, he's crystal clear on what's been going on. He's been actually doing research too and figuring out and backtracking and looking back to things. He's getting major clarity of the decisions that he has made because of the decisions that he has made, because of all the loss that he's going through right now because of the backfire of this magic. This masculine is also sick. He's not feeling good in his body. He's had a lot of going a lot going on because of the decision that he made, that he was forced to make. He never loved this person. He would have never chosen this person that he chose. They're not even his type. They're not even someone he'll choose. They're not, they're not even attracted to your person. Your person's even waking up to that too. This person is not someone that they like to look at. I'm just saying. And take it how it resonates. That's what spirit is giving me. Okay. But um, yeah, so your this situation here is about the unraveling of the all of the black the darkness that was done in your masculine. 
the forced love connection that is coming up as false now. Your masculine is knowing that it's false. Clear as day. Yeah, and he's walking away. This person, this karmic knows your masculine is about to walk away too. He's looking back because of how much he's lost, how much he's given up. He's pissed. He's walking towards his correct path. That's why outside of the gate, as he walks through the gate, all you see is blessings and abundance. He knows that this situation has to end or he's going to continue. He's, he's being ruined. Yeah. Look at this shit, y'all. Look at this. My God. Look at this here. Whew. I'm going to have to take this one, too. Let's make some room. Let's make some room, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Let me show you. The last card that came out the bottom of the deck was the woman holding heart. The woman who has his heart is divine feminine. The masculine now knows that. He is in love. See how he's holding his heart? He gave it to her. That's the person he should have gave it to. And that's who has his heart. That's where he's headed. Walking away to his love. This karmic is about to be left in the dust. And she's angry about it. She's pissed. She's doing anything she can to cause. She's even trying to amp up and do more magic, but it's not working. The divine is in order of the situation right now. They're ahead of the situation right now. This is reaping season. Everything that Karmic is doing, like in her reading, is boomeranging back. This is this is aligned to this reading as well. The woman holding her heart has been holding the masculine's heart the whole time. He made the decision to go towards something that was not love. And now he knows why he made that decision. Now he knows why. And he's pissed because he made a decision that he should not have made. And he wouldn't have made it in the right mind. Yes, he knew all along. This person was not even what he liked. Yes. And he's, he does not have any more patience to stay in the situation. It's over. This he, he, is, he is beyond pissed. If these two are in the same house, they need to separate the, the karmic and the masculine because there's fighting going on, some major fighting. Domestic violence is going on in this house. Every single thing that that karmic has done is backfiring. So if she had your masculine conflicting with you, now he's conflicted with her. If she had your masculine in separation with you, he's sleeping in another room. You won't even talk to her. Sorry about that, guys. That was confirmation. Every single thing that he has done to her, he's getting back. I mean, that she has done to him, she's getting back now. Every spell of, of, of making him look at you differently, divine feminine, of make, altering how he looked at the situation with his divine feminine. Now he's looking at the karmic that way. No love, no sex, no passion. No, She even did attraction spells to make your masculine look at you like you were the ugly one. Like you were the one that was unattractive. Now he sees what kind of monster he actually chose over his divine feminine. Your masculine, he don't have any more patience to pretend. Mm -mm, no more. A sense of clarification, guys. This is deep. Wow. Here, give me one on top of um, Karen Connections in reverse. There's no love here. He has no love for this person. He actually hates this person. He hates the karmic. There's a lot of hate and anger in this house. And the crazy part is the karmic is in love with the masculine now because of all the spells of backfiring. I've been getting that in the readings too. And it's aligning, guys. Yeah, she's about to backfire. Yeah, look, he came out again. Oh my God, spirit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, let me get this together, y'all. Come on. That's, that's rock and roll, baby. That's rock and roll. Let's get some truth out here, okay? What did I say? Karen connections in reverse. Magic, magician. This relationship was a magic spell. The karmic did a magic spell to get your masculine to be with it, with her or him. Take it how it resonates. This person, your person, was forced into a relationship. 
I promise to God, when my masculine, I'm going to tell you, because I know I'm honest. I got to be real. And spirit tells me when to spit it out. I'm going to do my story, guys, okay? But I, I'm, I'm, I just give you a little bit of tea at a time. When my masculine got married, to his divine feminine, I mean, to his, not, I'm the divine feminine, well, no, to the karmic, sorry, the person that was acting as the divine feminine, the person that was that was actually building spells to make herself look like me, okay? This person, his, his karmic is ill. She wants to be me so bad. Like, she has done everything to try to alter herself to be me. You know, she's been stalking me since fucking high school. But when it comes down to um, everything, the day he got married, I will never forget. I didn't find out till later because she tried to rub it into my face um, by, you know, putting asking me, you know, she had apologized to me for us having issues in high school. And I said, that's fine. I forgive you. I'm grown. We're good. Okay. Um, so from there, uh, she inboxed me that accepted friendship. We were cool, cordial. I'm fine. Okay. So she goes around and she put uploads the pictures from the wedding. Okay. They didn't get many likes for one on Facebook. Nobody liked the pictures because they knew that she was a whore the whole time. Everybody knew that she was no good for him. The community knew that this person was a whore. She was always loose, a loose loose. So, um, but, you, but the masking was clouded because now it makes sense. The spirit has given me everything. That's why I forgave my masculine because I knew, I know now from zero what's been going on. Everything I thought that was wrong with this person was actually wrong with this karmic. Okay. She was a hell a hoe the whole time. She had diseases in high school to let you know how wild she was. But he didn't see anything because he had magic on him. And he used to walk around picking his hair all the time. And I'm like, why did he pick his hair like that? Because she was fucking with his brain. She was pulling on the chakra. Everything makes sense now. But fast forward to the wedding. Okay. He was so confused at his wedding. He kept drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. Every picture that I saw, he was drinking. I paid attention to everything. I didn't miss anything. Every time he was with her, he was not smiling. It was like forced, like a puppet sitting next to her. Like, why am I here? You see what I'm saying? And now we know why. So the, the issue here with, with the divine feminists is that we have awakened to what our masculine is actually going through. The ones that are actually on our proper journey and on the right path of our journey, we know clarity. Clarity is clear. Things that I was not sure about back then, over 20 years ago, I'm very clear on right now. Okay? And here's the proof right here. So your masculine, if your masculine was with this person and he married them or proposed to them or stayed in a long-term commitment with them, it was forced. Marry me magic. Mm -hmm. He has been imprisoned. Mm -hmm. From the beginning of time, the masculine, however long he's been with this person, he's been locked up and trapped with this person. Exactly. And here we go. Your person, on top of magic, okay, the, the person that he chose, the karmic, the karmic was the queen of pentacles in reverse. They played like they were you. They wanted to be the empress. The empress is all four queens. The queen of pentacles, the queen of cups, the queen of swords, and the queen of wands, all in one woman. This person wanted to come off like the woman holding a heart, which was you. But she really, she really was a greedy, selfish, not trifling, not a homemaker, a whore. That's truly what she really was. And she was a leech and very greedy, but didn't want to work for anything. She used your masculine as a puppet to do everything she wanted him to do. Mm -hmm. She had total control over him. And since she did that, now, everything, since everything is backfiring, the masculine is about to leave her out in the cold. Five of Pentacles, he's about to leave her out in the cold and go towards the woman holding heart, which is his match, his divine feminine. Now that he's awakened and these spells are breaking, the magic is breaking due to the universe. They're not with anything that this person is trying. We got it right next to each other. Both magician cards. Backfire. This is where the economy is going to end up at. Five of Pentacles. Poor. Poverty. Mm -hmm. 
she stripped your masculine of everything, but then she can't even hold on to a dollar herself. The universe is stripping her of anything else that she has left. Your masculine, once he clears this cycle, of course he's going through financial issues too because he's tied to this person. When he clears up this karmic debt, this karmic cycle, your masculine will be able to come to you free and move towards the woman holding heart. This karmic is going to have to sit there and watch you guys grow and be in love and get your finances and your abundance and your overflow. She's about to be left behind. When you try to shift somebody's destiny with dark magic, it always backfires. And here's the conjunction. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. Yeah, look at this here, y'all. Look, look at this here. On top of indecision, in reverse, we have the two of wands and the eight of cups. Yep. She forced her masculine to make a decision that was not for his highest good. Made him walk away from the person that he loved. She forced the situation. She put separation spells between you guys. She did conflict spells between you guys. She made your person walk away from you and walk towards poverty. He left eight cups behind. He had the ninth one. He took it with her. I mean, with, he took it and gave it to her because he thought that she was the nine of cups is a wish fulfillment. He thought that this person was wish fulfillment because of all of these spells and magic that she done on him. She made him choose wrong. The indecision. That's why his, he was so indecisive when it came to the situation of anything in life. He clung to her because she was his master, the puppet master. Wow, the puppet motherfucking master. That's going to be the name of this, this the reading here. She was the puppet master, most definitely. Yeah, now he's walking away. Look at this shit here. What did I just say? Walking away, right? On top of that clarifying, guys, the DM is walking away and coming to give his woman holding a heart and offer of love. And he's going to take care of his boo. Who's ever divine feminine, divine masculine energy, take it how it resonates. But your divine masculine is about to come towards his divine feminine and offer her a solid, concrete, keen, grown man offer. He know he fucked up. And he's walking away. He's willing to give his all to the person to fix it. He knows where his heart belongs. He knows where his heart is. He's awakened. And he's going to stop at nothing to make it up to you. The King of Pentacles is the man that you want to marry. This, that's why this karmic did this to your man. The karmic did this to the masculine. Draining them for everything that they have. She even had your masculine breaking the law for finances. He did whatever she wanted him to do because she was the puppet master. Mm hmm Wow. Yeah. Now she's going to be left in deep regret. This is how the karma is going to live for the rest of her life. Yeah, five of cups. And deep regret. And sorrow. She's about to reap a whole load of shit. Okay? This in reverse is major depression. It's maybe mental institution. Because everything, when you do manage, when you do black magic on somebody, I tell you guys every reading, when you do it on somebody and, and, it, and it backfires, everything that you have done, all the darkness that she has accumulated, even down to the people that she paid to do the work, she's going to reap all of that. Anybody she's around that's around her is going to reap her karma too. So this masculine has been reaping this this um karma is, um has been reaping this karma this karmic. I'm so jumbled, y'all. I'm so sorry. The masculine has been reaping the karma's karma by being in her energy, and she knows that. See, she the 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 karmic does shit him or her take it how it resonates, but they cannot they can dish it, but they can never take it. They are punks. And half of them can't fight. They won't run up. So what they do is they are they, they throw the rock and hide the hand. But the in universe that has allowed this person to throw the rock and hide the hand and think that they had the upper hand and control in this situation. And now this is how they're going to end up in an insane asylum. Mental health issues. Broke. Poverty. Mm-hmm. You can't go through life doing people wrong and think that you're not going to catch it back. There's not no way you can do that. 
This karmic has a lot of beef and people, the community is awakening to what's going on. That's why they're going to end up in poverty. They're not going to have any support. Exactly. The, the queen of swords in reverse. This is who she was. We have two karmic cards on top of each other. Look at this shit, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. On top of the magic card, okay? We have the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles in reverse. This was a dirty bitch, y'all. The Decepticon. You talking about somebody who was a fucking chameleon. A master manipulator. A liar. A cheater. A deceiver. A whore. A, 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 a even was a horrible mother. Couldn't even take care of kids. Couldn't even wash her ass right. This person, and they talk bad about your masculine child, he entrusted in this person because he said her what he went through as a child. What he's been through in his life. And now she uses it against him. The Queen of Swords in reverse used all that against you. Mental, swords. She, whatever he did was never good enough. She wanted more. But she was not willing to get her ass off the couch to help. And build an empire, but she wanted to act like she was the empress. The empress is fertility for the emperor. <laughs> this is a major, major lesson. The masculine knew that he had his gift, where he is learning at, where his karma is coming in at, is making the wrong decision when he knew it. Look at this shit here. He knew it. On top of man holding heart, five of pentacles, okay? She's, a, she's about to be out on the call. Your master also feels out in the cold when it comes to his divine feminine because he feels like that you're walking away from him and he don't have an opportunity with you because he chose, he was forced. The reason why the masculine is having issues right now and going through karma right now is because he chose a false love. Okay? No love here. Two of cups. This is not his, this is not his twin flame. Come on. A lesson. Mm -hmm. But this is what he chose. And he was forced partially to choose this person. I say partially because he did not use his intuition either. Your master was also in his ego. It was about finances. He was greedy. And it cost him. When he knew, see how the hand is up here? He knew that the universe was hand. He knew who his woman holding heart was. But he was so cocky. He was like, oh, you, you mine. He knew how many lifetimes you guys have been together. He knew. Mine was so smart. He got so cocky. Let me tell you, I already walked away from me, okay, because he was playing games. But when what made me say I'm done and I'm okay and I'm going to move forward and start healing and get my shit together on my path versus caring about what everybody else is doing, I've always put everybody before me. I have to learn how to love me and really learn my lessons about self-love and self-worth. So when I awakened me that day, was that he told me, this nigga knew about Akashic Records. Okay? You got to look that up. He knew how many lifetimes. I said, I'm going to close the book on you, is what I told him. He told me, ooh, baby, you're going to need help with that. That's a lot of lifetimes. And he did the dusty wave like he had to sneeze. Nothing happens in a reading that's not supposed to happen. And that's what made me wake up. That day, I said, this person, this butthole in front of me is knows what he's doing. He is, he is having his cake and eat it too. And he was okay with leaving me and the baby behind. Because he knew that he could always come back. He knew I loved him. And he played on that. He took it for granted. So I had to find self-love for myself. Twins does not mean that we have to be together. Because if we're meant to be together, we will be. I'm always the one holding his heart, regardless. But you have to understand that, Divine Feminine, if you're watching, through the situation, you have to know that your masculine knew what he was doing, okay? It was about ego and pride and control. Mm -hmm. he, was in the, he, had, he had the best seat in the house. He was on his end doing whatever he was doing with the karmic. They were doing breaking the law, doing whatever they had to do for to, for financing. 
he was able to have threesomes with this karmic. The karmic was a wild child with him, did whatever. Down to selling her ass for him. See what I'm saying? She was doing, he was, yes, he was being pimped by her and controlled, but she still was doing shit for him. He toxic love. Lust, because there was no love here. But he was he was all he was comfortable with that because that's what he was used to from his childhood. That's what he saw growing up. So when he got his true love, he was like, I'm gonna keep my true love in a box back here in the closet for when I get ready to get her or him, take it how it resonates. I know it's my true love, and they're gonna wait on me because I'm the king, okay. But that's not what happened here. And now you since you have walked away, divine feminine. From the man holding his heart. Now he's holding his heart for you. And you have walked away. But he's walking. He's, but he's running towards you now. Yeah. Because he knows that you're his true love. Now. And the karmic is aware that he knows. And she's trying. Him or her is trying very, very hard to stop the situation from happening. They're both going through a boomerang effect with all of their the things that they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And on top of indecision and walking away. Um, two of wands for him not making it. And we have two cards of him making a bad decision. Uh-huh. Cause nothing but heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Three of swords. Third party situation. Which means that this masculine was also being played by this karmic. He was forced to leave his love behind, but this karmic has loves on the side. The masculine thought that this karmic was you, divine feminine. But he's finding out now that she was nothing but a slut bag that had that was using him for finance. He was a sugar daddy. He was a dum dum being played. She was a puppet master, and he had strings attached to him that she was playing all the time, the strings and controlling him while she still had still had other people on the side that she cared about. She was even taking her finances and his finances and giving them to other people, taking care of other people with the masculine money. Okay, this, this is about to be some major shit coming out here, y'all. That's on top of indecision. And we got, look, what I say? Secrets revealed. Mm -hmm. On top of walking away, page of cups and the king of cups. It's about to be revealed how your masculine truly feels about you, divine feminine. It's about to be revealed. It's about to come out in a nasty way, a major way, and your masculine's going to walk away. But it's going to walk away from her. It's going to come out after something is revealed about this karmic. So the karmic has been holding something over your masculine's head. That's how they've been keeping him in order and check in line. That's also what made this masculine make the decision to go towards this karmic. All this is about to be revealed. The masculine was made to leave you behind, divine feminine, because of something that was being held over his head by this karmic. But now that's about to come out too. I've been saying to masculine and all the readings, whatever this karmic knows, they're going to tell it anyway. So you might as well walk away and start your healing because it's going to come out. <laughs> it's going to come out because you're not, you, you, she has no fruit on her tree. Him or her taking high resonance. This karmic has no fruit on their tree. Yes. And the only thing that's happening is, is that there's more darkness coming. The master is very unhappy with this person. He's depressed. He's not happy at all. But this, the karmic had him blinded in a dark place. The sun reverses darkness. He's been entrapped with this person. That's the, that's the bottom of the day. Let's get some clarification here from the chakras. This is crazy, y'all, but it's the truth. And I told you the conjunction, with that conjunction on the 21st, it's about to go down. I've been saying it in all my readings. It has been coming out the same way in all of the readings. When that's happening like that, that's the universe letting us know this shit is real. This is not a game. These two are about to go through. They have to end this cycle. It's about to end in an ugly way. What did I just say? Completion. This is over. There is about to be a forced death to the situation, a tragic death, a hostile death, a dramatic death, because they both took too long to end it. Yes, the universe is about to make them re release. It's over, guys. 
You see how gloomy that release is? Because they played, both of them took too long. Your masculine did not have the courage. He was afraid. He was being puppeted. He was being um, blackmailed. Instead of moving forward and just letting this motherfucker say what they're going to say because they're about to do it anyway. You, you now you're not in releasing. When you could at least have some money. The masculine feels guilty for how he treated you. See back there, he's watching you every day, Divine Family. See the halo over your head? He know who his angel is. He knows it. And he's sorry. Very sorry. He wants to come back home. He feels so much guilt, especially if you guys have children. He feels horrible for leaving his family behind and playing games and gambling his gift with his angel. This is from above. You are his light. This is on top of the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. Yes, he knows. Wow, so sad. Mm -hmm. this, is his, this is his reality right now. True love, wish fulfillment, love of a lifetime, left. In the dark. He's in the dark. Mm -hmm. And guilt. Because of what he did and how he chose. He don't know how to come back toward you. He wants to know how to do it. He's trying to figure out how to do it. Well, all he got to do is be himself. And clear first, he has to clear the cycle out, though. He has to end the cycle the proper way. He cannot do it with bad, with the past behavior of being slick and deceptive. The universe and a higher power and the Lord God, whoever you believe in, is not going for anything but realness and authenticity because you are a gift, divine feminine. This karmic also watches you too. They're always in a dark place. They are a dark entity. Mm -hmm. And they're about to reap everything that they did to you and your family or you and your, your masculine on this journey. Whenever your journey began is where the karma the karma. Is going to be um, done. Mm -hmm. He wants your master wants forgiveness from you, divine feminine, for how he handled everything and how he broke your heart and destroyed your bond. He is beating himself up because he made the wrong decisions. Now that he knows who he tied himself to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On top of walking away. And um, the, the Page of Cups and the, the Ace of Pentacles, I mean, the King of Pentacles, and the uh, Moon in Reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about to be revealed. What did I say? Mysticism, the masculine knows. And that's what's causing him to walk away. When he finds out the backlash of just how much this karmic has done, as far as how much magic this karmic has done, look at this. The karmic even done moon magic on your person. They did moon rituals. They did any type of magic that they could to control your person. See how this person's cloaked? They're cloaked as you, divine feminine, but they were the devil the whole time. Your masculine has been sleeping next to the enemy. That's about to be revealed. Your masculine has been controlled by this karmic. Have been, their whole life has been a lie because of all of the tricks and the magic, and the spells, and the rituals, and the binding, all that this person has done to keep your person entrapped. Your person is now walking away from this person and leaving them in the... Wow. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Wow. I'm sorry. I was just thinking on that. Wow. Woo! Bittersweet. Mm hmm The masculine, of course, if he was tied to this person for a long time, they built a lot together. He thought that this life was what it portrayed itself to be, and now he's finding out why. That part of him is bittersweet, but he's pissed. And he's done. He's hostile. He's angry. He's bitter more than he is sweet about the situation. Mm. Wow. 
this karmic is about to be some major karma, guys. We have no love in reverse. We have 10 connections in reverse. We have two magic cards out here. This person was working. They were paying high priestesses of the dark. They were paying for ritual love spells. They even had, I'm sure they had an altar in the house, and this person didn't even know it, controlling their every move. I already know they were doing chakra work on your person. Yeah, they were, this crime chakra has been attacked. That's why they made the decisions that they made against you. Mm -hmm, look, it's about to be a death. We got, let me show you guys what I got. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. This clarifying completion. We have death and death. It's over, y'all. It's over. And this is on top of parent connections in reverse. <laughs> Care connection in reverse. Death, death, false. Mm -hmm. Conjunction, clearing, clearing. Okay, it's over. Yes, your masculine is about to be freed from the situation because the universe gave him an opportunity to end it. So now he, he wouldn't have lost everything that he's losing, but now he's about to lose even more because he did not move. He was too afraid to release what it looked like to the community. And now the community is releasing him. Your masculine is being shunned by the community because of all the comments. The comment has been gossiping about your masculine community. And also the community also sees him as a punk because they know that this person is a whore. A lot of people around your masculine friends and family have fucked this karmic. I have been telling mine for a long time. People in his family and close best friends was fucking the shit out of her, right? Right up under his nose. Okay. I was honest and told him as a best friend, we were best friends before we were anything. Now I was being forced to release this bullshit. It's no, it's, it's all about the drop. Mm hmm Yeah, look at this. On top of that guilt, on top of man holding coin. Yes, what did I say? He has to go through judgment first. Your masculine has to go through judgment. This is karma. He has to go through judgment with this person, but karma, the karmic and the masculine. Have to go through judgment. He's in a daily guilt about you. All he does is watches you all day, Divine Feminine, trying to see how to come towards you. This karmic is also watching you and watching him watch you as well. Because she knows, him or her knows that this is over for them as well. Okay? They know the man, who the man's heart, the man holding heart. They know who heart. He's holding, and they know that who's the, whose heart the woman of holding heart is holding. Mm -hmm. Yes, your masculine made the wrong decision. Look, look at this shit here. <laughs> wow. <sighs> he abandoned you, divine feminine. Your masculine left you. He wants forgiveness. On top of forgiveness and heartbreak, he wants to apologize to you for how he left you. If he made you lose homes or left you in poverty, left you abandoned, you and your babies, he left the family room empty for this karmic. He wants your forgiveness. He know he broke your heart. He know he made the wrong decision. It's on top of indecision in reverse. But he knows why he's reaping this karma that he's going through. He knows because of how he did you, Divine Feminine, and how he left you. He knows it. Just for clarification, so you'll know. Mm -hmm. he, le he left you guys bad. He left you out there bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because of everything he's going through right now, all he do is think about you, but <clears throat> he may be going to jail because of all the backfire of everything that they were doing together. Him and his karma was breaking a law together and it keep coming up in all the readings. Somebody is going to jail. Someone has a case over their head and all he keeps thinking about is you. Because if he goes to jail, he knows he's going to lose you. But that's what the karmic wanted. The karmic knew that when he was doing all of this dark, when he was doing all, breaking his laws and all this, and doing this criminal activity for her, she knew, or he, take it how it resonates, that your person would not be able to come into union with you if they kept them in separation with the spells from you and then turn around and destroy them and have you walk away into your newness, divine feminine. Your person will be stuck without you. So how could that person make up to you if they're locked up? This karmic did not, they want your person either dead 
or in jail. It's looking like it's gonna be jail, y'all. Yeah, and all your masculine does is think about you. He's stressed out. All he does is think about you and how he can come back towards you. Yeah, that's all he keeps thinking about is how he's going to make it back towards you. He don't know how to do it. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, and on top of secrets revealed, it's about to be revealed. The, the karmic has been a false person the whole time. She kept your masculine blindfolded in illusion, thinking that she was you, Divine Feminine. And that's about to be revealed. That's on top of secrets being revealed. Look at that. Conjunction, transit is not planned. Jupiter and Saturn in the motherfucking building. It's about to clear this shit right on out. Your master's going to feel, if he is doing time, he's going to feel free. Been away from this crazy motherfucker. This karmic is sick. Ill. Need to be in a state asylum. They don't need to go to jail. But they are, if this karmic has it as a part of this case, your masculine, they're they going to turn on your masculine. And she's going to put the blindfold on like she's Stevie Wonder, like she don't know what's going on. Him or her taking how it resonates. I say woman because of what we see here. She's going to turn on your person and tell all that she knows. If they've been together for years and they've been doing this for years, this Bonnie and Clyde bullshit, she about to tell her everything. So we better hope there's no murders because there's no, um, you can, you can always go to jail for that, right? This bitch is dirty. It's about to be revealed. I told you, masculine again. Whatever she knows, she's going to tell it. Whatever she knows, divine masculine, she's going to tell it. Whatever she knows, she's going to tell it. She's about to ruin you. See that? Mm -hmm. Enough said there. Let's move forward, guys. At the bottom of the deck, karma. High honor in reverse. The universe has released the situation. They have released our protection. They have let them hang themselves. The masculine and the karmic have hung themselves out to dry. And now they're about to be revealed to the whole community about their lie of a relationship. This whole thing has been a lie. There's about to be a reveal about children and family as well. This house that they had built was false. Uh huh. And the family room was false also. DNA test, negative. The community is about to find out all of that, okay? We have death card here twice, coffin and completion, okay? Deep regret. Mental illness. For all the magic that she did. It's over. Mm -hmm. Hi, Anna is coming in and slapping down the real gavel. So you're about to get some news. Divine Feminine, you're about to get some contact if you are watching. Lord have mercy. Yeah, it's about to, all that business is about to be in the street. This is just about to leak out. And so because the secrets are coming. What, oh, right, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Spirit. Oh my gosh. Mirror, mirroring each other's self-image relationships reflect our wounds, introspection, exactly. It's your masculine was in a trauma bonding situation with this karmic. They were in hell the whole time. They chose hell over heaven. And they are now awakened to that. This person was a lesson to your masculine, divine feminine. The karmic was a lesson. Mm -hmm. Then we have, look at this here, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. She never loved your masculine. She controlled him with love spells. She's a narcissist. Him or her take high resolution. This person is a fucking narcissist. And more than likely, your masculine is an empath because divine beings are always empaths. And we always have to go through a lesson with our comics about narcissism. Mm -hmm. She had your masculine. The karmic had the masculine looking like a narcissist as well because he was reflecting back to the to divine feminine what, his, what the behavior that she was giving to him. She was pulling him into her karma, into her misery. This karmic is vicious. Your masculine has some major debts to clear from past lifetimes that were harsh because this shit here about to end very ugly. Mm -hmm. It's about to end very badly. Yeah, girl with the snake 
empath and narcissist. What did I just say? Your mask is an empath and the karmic is a narcissist. Paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. She never loved them. She has been pumping this person, your masculine, full of fucking poison the whole time while she riding this dick. Ain't that some shit? With a mask on. This person is a serpent, a snake, a reptilian entity, a succubus, a Jezebel. They had a mask on that they were you, and now the universe is ripping it all off. This is on top of community in reverse. They're about to be revealed. Yep. Your masculine was the, cha was the chaser and chased this person because of abandonment issues. This person had your masculine caught up in a codependent situation. Your masculine, his lesson was to stop being codependent and stop playing on his past and carrying it with him. It's time for him to heal that. And because he wouldn't, the universe gave him a major lesson, which is his karma, karmic. And now he's seeing where he made those wrong turns at. Because he has to face his wounds and heal. It's time for him to heal. And he's been running from it. Mm -hmm. Union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting. Promise. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's coming towards you, Divine Feminine. The masculine's about to go. He's about to, this is the second reading. The first in the DM confession was engagement. And here it go again. He's about to propose to his Divine Feminine. Mm, he's going to do whatever he can. This masculine's about to fight tooth and nail to get his love back. Mm -hmm. He's about to come in with the bang, y'all. And this karmic know it. Mm -hmm, she knows it. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. He's in love. He's fully, he, he has cleared out all of this bullshit. He's clearing from around his head. And every day, the more that he does that he does this clearing, the more his chakra clear, the more he falls in love with you because if you're the woman holding his heart. Wow. And our final card, guys. What did I say? I said tower at the beginning, right? We have sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. We have a tower. This situation's about, it's over. It's about to blow the fuck up, y'all. To smithereens. A upheaval, a total ruin, a done done, a coffin twice, death, double death. You wake him up, you resuscitate him, you kill him again. This type of situation is over. It's done. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's complete. My message at the end here is that whew, divine masculine, it, you have to clear this. You got you to clear it out. There's no way around it. You have built, you have allowed this to accumulate and it backfired on you as well. Trying to be slick when it came to your divine feminine and taking her for granted and how you left her. If you guys had a family, you're paying for those debts for leaving your family behind for finances, for a false foundation, for a false person. This false person pulled, pulled you, this karmic pulled you into their personal hell. Misery loves company. And they pulled you right in. But you went willingly because you were focused on finances. You being greedy masculine caused you to lose the love of your life. And now you ha you are in jeopardy of losing your freedom because of this person. This karmic has full drug you to hell. And now you're hostile about it because you're awakening. And the tower is about to clear it all out. There's no way around it. If you are headed to prison, masculine, you or but the con because the karmic may be going to a nut house. That may be their their uh, punishment is like like the movie The Craft. At the end, the one, the smart ass, the, the dark karmic, she ended up in that house. That that may be happening here as well because this person, the karmic is having a lot of backfiring going on and it's messing with their mental health because they mess with the masculine chakra. See, whatever you do, you always get it back. And this karmic was about control. She controlled even her family and the people in the community, control how they thought. She did whatever she could, good from pee to uh, blood to... Uh, binding, haircut, hair follicles, digging up and doing uh, graveyard rituals, 
sacrifice that this person went above and beyond just to keep the masculine from his destined path. And now there's about to be a major warp of reaping. The masculine is a divine being, so he has the opportunity to fix it, to get on the right path, but he has to endure the, the clearing of this power. I thank you guys so much for joining me. Please understand, if this is your story, if you can relate to it, please leave me a comment down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please click on the notification button so you'll know when I upload. And always, guys, keep a high vibration because this type of these entities can only get into you when you are in a lower vibration of depression and unhappiness. When you are in a negative mind state, that's when you're able to be attacked by dark forces. That's what happened to your masculine. He was vulnerable and the karmic saw a great victim. Mine even transferred in from a different high school just to come in and hone in and to separate us to stop us from coming into union because the karmic always knows about the divine couple before we do. That's why when she apologized, when me and her had our issue in high school, she said it, it was because she said, you never did nothing to me. I, I just got angry at how he looked at you. Okay. So you never know somebody's motives. But once you grow and mature and open your eyes and reflect back, everything always comes clear. That's why we have to keep, we have to balance our masculine and, and feminine energies out. We can't be emotional. We can't be in our feelings. We have to have a balance so that you can see things clearly and, and you can have the messages come in from spirit to show you. It's not going to always be nice, guys. What comes in to you from spirit. But you have to digest that and trust your intuition and know that I'm ready. They're not going to always reveal it to you until you're ready. That's confirmation right there, too. So I love you guys. I thank you. If you need a personal reading, if you need more clarity, please email me at divine at 717 at gmail.com. I look forward to um, con talking with you guys in comments. If you have any readings that you would like for me to do, Leave them down in the comment section as well. I'm building a, um, a list of those too so we can do a raffle on what we're going to do and pull and see what readings we're going to do. Okay, guys? I love you so much. Please keep your high vibration. Keep your mind focused. Keep looking towards the light. Divine masculine. Clear this shit out. Keep moving. You're becoming an emperor. In order to become an emperor, you got to get your ass whooped. It is what it is. Karmic. It's reaping season. That's all I have to say for you. Because you did you went above and beyond to, to do what you did. And I'm in a community, people told you to stop and you still went for it and kept doing it. So you you have a lot coming your way. And that's between you and the higher power and, and the devil, because you owe both of them debts. So God bless you, okay? And I keep having a coffin come up for the karmics twice. We have in this reading. I'm not going to say nothing else. The conjunction is on the 21st. It's about the.